What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Steve Boosa GS. We got another scorecard reaction for y'all, and you already know what it is. Let's get it. We about to hop into this. I have no idea what to expect from this. This is coming from a request from the Discord. If you want to join the Discord family, links are down in the description below. Uh, we got Steve Steinman. First of all, super strong name. I like where we're going with this. You can always trust the Steve to bring you some fire content. We're here for it, my guy. Um, take a leap of faith. Now, this is actually coming from someone who doesn't follow me for my hip-hop reactions, but actually my off-hip-hop reactions like Nightwish and things like that. Uh, so I'm assuming this is not going to be hip-hop. That and the fact that he looks like this, this doesn't give me rap vibes. <laughs> Um, so, we're going to take that with a grain of salt. I don't have the updated scorecard that makes it easier for us to score uh, non-hip-hop music yet. Uh, but we're going to take it for what it is, and we're going to see how we fuck with it. Um, with that being said, do me a favor. Run the gauntlet, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, little bell notification guy. Let's see, let's see what it's hitting for, man. He looks really energetic, whatever the fuck this is. I'm assuming this is about to be wild. <laughs> All right, so this production value is already like this is like a this is a music video, music video. This isn't like somebody that's like in some like homebrew stuff. This looks legit. Alright, so I'm getting like huge, huge classic rock, uh, rock vibes from this. Um, I can see, you know what this does to me? This sounds like it's in a movie. Like, I don't know why, but I, this this sounds like montage music. I think it's like the pacing. It's got like a really, really fast, upbeat pacing. I, f I see like some type of like action montage and like a movie playing out and shit like that while this is going off. And have no fear at all. so dramatic i love it well uh one thing to point out on this for me like as i've i've dived into other countries rock scenes and stuff like that i often find it very very difficult to make out the words to anything and i don't have that problem with him at all he speaks very very concisely you can tell that he's looking to get a message across it's not necessarily mixing in with this track with like the the, the screamo type versions and stuff um this is like this to me this is easy to digest rock or metal whatever, whatever it's genreized um, as someone who doesn't normally listen to it, this seems very, very accessible to people who are from outside the genre, which obviously I can appreciate being as hell I'm trying to review something that I don't normally listen to. So that's dope.
like a cannonball line. I, I don't know if I love it or I hate it. Like, if this was rap, that would probably be, like, a really, really cheesy metaphor. Because of the genre and the way that he delivers it, I don't know. I kind of like it in this setting. This is one of those situations where, like, judging lyrics based on genre is going to be way, 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 way different. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm curious. Let me know what your thoughts are about that. Just take a leap of faith before it's much too late. I feel like the song, if it ended right here, would be absolutely fine. So I'm very curious. There's a whole another three minutes to this. This feels like a good conclusion to the song. I don't know what else is left. So I'm very interested to see what he decides to do with another three minutes of this. Feed the flames that burn inside Grab your soul and hold on tight And if this life and death collide Right through into the night Feed the flames that burn inside Grab your soul and hold on tight And if this life and death collide Right through into the night The close-up profile pictures are like super, super intense when I got got this on full screen right now. Um, I, I don't know. I like this. I like that there's a positive message behind it. Uh, I like that it's kind of like uplifting. I think that that kind of matches with the upbeatness of the melody. So there's a slight cohesion there. Um, yeah, it's all right. Sexy Pam off of the office. It looks like a sexy version of Pam. Let's go. Who that? <laughs> uh, guitar solo, or I don't know if it's solo because there's still music going. See, I don't know all the terms. That's why I don't like doing these reactions. Um, but the guitar here is fucking nuts. Absolutely killing it. Oh, was that Shorty from the video like the whole time? And then, ah! Okay. She cleaned up well. I see you. Stop, because now I got stuff that I can dissect here. Now I'm getting the point of the song. The video actually helps a lot with this. So this is definitely more of like a be who you really want to be, get out of your shell. Like that, the whole take a leap of faith, I feel like it's more like just like, I don't know, this kind of gives you that feeling like the end of Grease. You know what I'm saying? Where you've seen Sandy go from all like pink girl and then she comes out with like the leather jacket and everything like that. That's the vibe that I'm getting. This seems like uplifting positive message about being yourself not worrying about the shit with others and once you decide to do that you will soar fly like a cannonball once you decide to take that leap then you see shorty in the video come in in a bad relationship unhappy whatever blah 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 shit's a little too normy and now she meets him gets her fortune sold now she's like Rah! we here with it all right cool now she's a greaser i'm with it this is dope
right, let's go to the scorecard. Let's break it down. Let's see how we feel about it. Uh, I promise I'm getting the, the non-hip-hop scorecard eventually. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, we are brand new to this artist, Steve, my guy. First time hearing you. I'll give it to him. It was cool. A little one-for-one. One. I liked it. Um, and if you guys are new here, in order for me to be a fan of your music, you got to catch at least three on the channel. I'm going to give them one for one for that. Uh, target audience for this. No, I'm just not. I don't listen to rock. So, like, I, I, I'm not the target audience for this. I'm just listening as a, as a, pro, as a uh, spectator here. Proper setting for this. Um, you know what? I'm putting this on my gym playlist, if anything. Here's why. I like the positive reshape yourself kind of mentality the message that the song's given off and how i would relate that personally i don't necessarily have problems with image uh or my relationships but definitely with like your your body image and stuff like that the, the a physical transformation as opposed to like the clothes and stuff like that i could see this getting somebody motivated for the gym bars of lyrics i think this is probably where it was the weakest um but again that's coming off of a hip-hop background where lyrics are 100 percent the focus so from like a lyric standpoint I'd give it like a 15 out of 25, uh, especially with like this type of music. A lot of it is just like the chorus repeated over and over again. Um, but I was able to pull the full message out of it. He didn't really say anything that was like too crazy off the wall, uh, but he got the point across. I give it a 15 out of 25. I think that was probably the most room for improvement for this uh, individual. The delivery was dope. Delivery was dope. I give it a straight up. 21 out of 25 for the delivery. I think he handled that really well. I like the way he articulated. Um, yeah, beat selection for what it was, 15 out of 15, I think it was perfect. The beat selection and the sound quality here were basically flawless, especially, like, if you listen to this type of music, you'll be able to pick up things that, that may have been, could have been done better. I can't do that because I'm not familiar with it. So, to me, this shit sounded perfect. Like, I, I don't have any issues with it. Effectiveness. Does this make you want to listen to more of them? Maybe, like, a 5 out of 10. Again, your scores and your cards at home are probably going to be different, especially if you listen to this genre of music. I'm just trying to give you like an unbiased opinion as someone from the hip-hop genre. Uh, and then enjoyability. Uh, without the video, I think it should have stopped at the three-minute mark. With the video, I think the video helps complete the story and everything like that. I did find it to be a little bit more enjoyable once I understood what the song was about and the message that it was trying to get across to me. Um, so I would give it like an 8. Enjoyable under specific circumstances. Uh, and then I'm also going to give a miscellaneous point because the video was dope and did help tie everything together. 80 out of 100. That's my score. 80 out of 100. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know down in the comments below. As always, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Let's go.